Hello. Good morning to all. And uh, in this work, uh, we um, we show a project that we uh, we issued at the um, environmental regional agency of. Uh, of Tuscany, um, as for the um, environmental monitoring of uh, earth uh, and rocks uh, excavated from uh, a, a, um, a large infrastructure building. And uh, I have some problem with the mouse. With my here, it doesn't work. Let's try with this. Okay, yeah. this one is better, okay. And uh, um, at first, uh, I will um, I will show some uh, some little data from the uh, the high speed Florence railway station project, and also rock management plan. Uh, after this, uh, we will uh, concentrate about the three D survey technologies available. We uh, tested and uh, we. Uh, we um, <clears throat> we also give some uh, some detail about the uh, processing of uh, um, other scans with both uh, commercial and uh, false solutions, and we um, and uh, at the end we uh, we performed a cost benefit analysis of the of the the old solution tested. The Florence Underground Rail, Railway Station is a project uh, started in 2003. Uh, excavation started in 2010. It's, uh, it's, well, well known. it's very well known uh, project issued by uh, Norman Foster and uh, Partners Study. Extracted volumes are uh, expected to be quite huge since uh, the uh, quota difference between uh, the topsoil and the uh, floor plan would be uh, around 25 meters. Uh, so uh, um, for, <coughs> um, for uh, compliance with, uh, na with national environmental regulation, the uh, Planners have to, uh, to, to, to do a, a, earth, a rocks management plan. Uh, if earth uh, rocks can be classified as uh, um, aggregated, they can be used in an uh, environmental restoration project. Otherwise, they, uh, they, they have been um, disposed in the, in the charges. And uh, uh, the the management plan provides uh, a three uh, phases disposal of earth uh, rocks uh, inside uh, an, uh, an exhausted lignite mine site, site uh, nearby at about, um, at about 50 kilometers from uh, uh, site one. And the role of uh, environmental regional agency is, uh, um, is uh, <coughs> Are, uh, are various since uh, we are uh, in charge of uh, analysis uh, of earth rock samples. Um, mm, we are also in charge of a, a generic environmental control, mainly on uh, underwater pollutions. And uh, after this, uh, last but not at least, we have to deal with uh, the earth rocks, volume tracking, between the uh, two sides, uh, since we had to uh, to prove that no no other earth uh, and rocks uh, would be uh, disposed um, at the final site without proper authorization. And these two are the uh, site on the left site one. We have the underground. Um, railway station, uh, and uh, on the right, uh, the uh, Santa Barbara exhausted mine uh, at phase zero, before top, so the vegetation, uh, vegetation removal. After vegetation removal, uh, we, we, we would have the uh, phase one, that is the, uh, the refilling with railway station at, at rocks, and, uh, uh, and our um, Monitoring plan uh, 
at the moment uh, stopped at uh, phase one since uh, uh, phase two is uh, ongoing. Uh, we wish the, to uh, to test many instrumentation, uh, both uh, terrestrial laser scanners and RPAS. RPAS mainly at the Santa Barbara site. Uh, um, our goals were uh, testing of the of, of available. Uh, technologies uh, in both underground uh, and open-air environments uh, and, uh, and also testing of uh, both commercial and FOSS uh, processing software. Uh, mm, uh, fol uh, following this uh, testing phase, we, um, we, uh, do, we would have been able to do a cost-benefit uh, analysis in, in both, sur um, in both sur uh, survey operations and uh, processing operation of, uh, survey, da of survey data, uh, and also some uh, evaluation about precision of the various instruments used. Um, we see the uh, two, uh, uh, two phases uh, of work at uh, site one, at the railway station. In phase one, a, a, ten, a 10 meters slab uh, of earth uh, and rocks uh, have to, to be excavated. And uh, uh, after phase one uh, in uh, site one, this volume um, would have been uh, <laughs> Would have been disposed on five on the five sub areas of uh, site two. Uh, the, under, the underground station uh, poses us uh, some challenges. Uh, it is a very huge site, but uh, uh, but being some uh, uh, some places underground, we had to. Uh, to um, to use uh, um, laser scanner systems. And uh, we, um, we use uh, a, a, a mobile one and a, a traditional, uh, a traditional uh, tripod mounted one. Uh, since we have a, um, a commercial software for, uh, um, for the alignment of the uh, scans uh, that, uh, that only supports uh, ICP algorithm, uh, we have to, uh, mm, to do some, uh, some manual works. And so we find that we uh, found that, uh, <laughs> that the point mobile one outperforms the uh, tripod mounted one in uh, both time for uh, for survey and, uh, and processing time. Uh, all, also, the mobile handled laser scanner uh, allows us with, uh, its, uh, with its continuous uh, acquisition mode um, and higher precision due to the uh, spanning of the, of the laser beam. Um, as for, for the, for the precision, for, um, for the precision of the two um, laser scanner instruments, uh, we found that the difference uh, are very low. Uh, with, this, uh, with this alignment tool uh, um, provided by, by the, the commercial software, uh, eight differences are, uh, are under five centimeters. Uh, uh, in uh, in set two, uh, we have uh, a, um, a huge area subdivided uh, sub, sub subdivided in uh, uh, in five working phases for uh, for phase one. So we uh, we can use uh, uh, without problems uh, a, um, a traditional tripod mounted terrestrial laser scanner and a uh, uh, system. Um, and being the, the exhausted mine uh, in open air, we uh, also tried to, uh, to do some RPAS uh, survey. 
and uh, and so we um, we found that uh, acquisition time is uh, is very low since uh, in uh, in about half uh, an hour we can survey the whole area at uh, at phase one uh, in phase zero we had to uh, do fi uh, five uh, five different surveys taking um, about three or four hours uh, let's see something uh, about the the precision uh, we uh, um, we found that uh, that they um, that they difference in uh, in an altered sub areas uh, is uh, is um, is between 10 and uh, 30 centimeters between uh, LPAS profile and uh, and terrestrial last scanner one um, uh, as for uh, the TLS processing uh, at uh, at at site one. Uh, we estimate uh, um, an alignment scan time of uh, of 10, uh, 10 minutes for each for each scan pair. Uh, and so, if we um, if we, if we use the uh, for the um, the entire full uh, full precision survey with uh, uh, two hundred and uh, for these scans, we have uh, a, a very huge, uh, a very huge, huge time for uh, for scans alignment uh, um, with uh, with a slower precision. We we um, we limit ourselves to five uh, five hours for uh, for these scans, uh, and so we uh, ask ourselves if. Uh, if uh, we can uh, find a, a solution for uh, for lowering this uh, this time the uh, the forty hour time forty hour time with force software mm, which soft which uh, force software that would uh, would um, that would support uh, automatic alignment uh, of, of uh, scans. Uh, in particular, we uh, tested the two, two solutions, these two, uh, while the uh, for, for PCS uh, in its version, su uh, the super for, for, for PCS uh, um, is, not, uh, is not recommended for scans uh, with, uh, with many Dispatch at the point clouds. Uh, the improved ICP that we found in this library, in the point cloud tools for uh, for MATLAB, worked well since uh, it uh, uh, it aligns uh, perfectly to scans here, to uh, to scans on the the central sector of the railway station, and uh, it had. Uh, it show a quick convergence. Um, let's pass to the estimation of uh, extracted and, uh, and disposed volumes. Uh, extracted volume can be estimated uh, starting from the, the raw measures and uh, partially reported measures by uh, project managers are uh, 168,000 68,000 uh, meters cube, and uh, and after transportation phase, uh, the, uh, considering the form factor of one uh, and thirty, we had uh, an increase of the of the disposed volume. At the exhausted mine, in the exhausted mine site, also we can estimate uh, an approximate area and uh, uh, the. The average uh, expected date uh, between uh, between two meters uh, and half and uh, one meters and half uh, using these two these two values. Um, we perform a, a preliminary evaluation. Uh, I 
I had to to point out that this uh, this that these ones uh, are not uh, official results. And we found that uh, the uh, quota difference between uh, topsoil uh, at phase zero and topsoil uh, at uh, phase one is uh, uh, about uh, eight, eight meters uh, instead of 10. So that uh, if we do a new estimation, uh, at 8 meters uh, of it, we found this value. But considering that uh, at, the, um, um, at the borders for a, for a length of, of about 100 meters, uh, in the two parts, we had only a 4 meters uh, 8 difference. So we had to, to reduce our estimation to a number that is comparable to, uh, to the one reported at uh, phase 1. In Santa Barbara si si site, we, um, in uh, these two cross uh, sections uh, over the two models, uh, the, uh, the first is the, the laser scanner one and the second the RPAS one. Uh, we found uh, an average quota difference uh, about uh, two meters and half, which is consistent with the value um, estimated, estimated here with the first number. And uh, uh, we also perform uh, a, um, an evaluation on, uh, Q, on Q, Q, QGIS by, by simply subtracting the two, the two models. And uh, uh, we found uh, a value that is uh, quite higher than uh, this one. And this one, but uh, uh, but we can uh, we can think that uh, since we have uh, some uh, parts with negative height uh, um, from uh, from this data, we uh, sh we should subtract. Thank you. Everyone. <laughs> we should subtract uh, a value that can be about uh, thirty thousand. Meter cubes. So we um, we 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 have a, a value of two uh, two hundred and thousand that is greater than uh, um, that is around uh, around uh, this one. But we have to uh, check for the uh, um, we we have to check if the if the evaluated form factor is. Uh, consisted with this uh, two data. Concluding, uh, we, um, we, we found uh, in, in our project that both uh, R, um, RP, uh, yes, and uh, LSS scanner are, um, allow us to uh, obtain precise 3D models for Earth and rocks environmental monitoring uh, of building site and uh, the choice of RPAS uh, instead of uh, OLASI scanner uh, uh, can be enforced by, by site characteristics uh, since ob obviously underground uh, um, is um, using a, an, uh, an RPAS a yes uh, can uh, can be challenging, and uh, FOSS um, and FOSS solutions uh, allows uh, allows usage of uh, cutting edge uh, technologies if they are uh, if they are not available on uh, on commercial products, and uh, as for the cost benefit. Uh, Analysis R, uh, RPAS are, uh, are effect, effectively, effectively uh, cost effective, cost effective solution in uh, in open air in uh, in open air uh, service and uh, and outperform the rest of the laser scanner uh, if uh, if automatic scan. Alignment tools uh, are not available, and, uh, and also mobile laser scanner outperforms the terrestrial ones in uh, survey time in underground, 
add, add the cost of a more uh, complex uh, resource consuming processing since uh, um, they, they require a specialized, a specialized hardware and software. Uh, thank, uh, many thanks for, uh, for your uh, attention and I cite uh, in this slide the other participant uh, to this, uh, to this, uh, this project who are the, the colleague of uh, ARPAT and uh, special thanks uh, must also be issued to RFI for their support in, uh, in topographic surveying and, uh, and microgeo2 for uh, uh, instrumentation borrowing and uh, software tutoring and support too.